Hi everybody, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add more M3S covered variant trucks to your DAISY, Xbox, PlayStation or PC servers by editing the XML files. And <laughs> I'm going to show you how to um, make them spawn in so they spawn in complete with all the tyres on them and the car battery in them. And I'm going to show you how to spawn them in with a load of building stuff in the back. In fact, I'm going to, in the link to the in the video description down below, I've done a code snippet that you, but you can basically copy and paste over the top of the truck section in your um, spawnable types file that will then um, do this all for you. But you've got to do the event, event bit for yourself. So, as you probably know already... Um, if you want to change um, the uh, the number of uh, things spawning in in your game, um, you want to go into your web interface. You want to go to your server. You want to go to the file browser. And what we're looking for is, in this case, with uh, with the truck, we're looking for the events file, not the types file. It's the events file. Um, and uh, depending on whether the server is a Chernerus one or an Enoch one, you'll choose on the particular one. And then what you'll want to do is you want to download inside the DB file, you'll want to download the events file there, that one there, that one there. So you download that one. While you're here, you might as well also download the um, spawnable types file as well, which is there, CFG spawnable type. So download those. What you want to do is you want to put them in a folder and you want to make a backup of them because you're going to be editing these. That way, if you make a mistake, you can always uh, you can always change. You can always go back to the original and kind of start again. Now, once you've downloaded them, open them up in your favorite text editor. I recommend Notepad++. It's free, very powerful. You can see it makes mistakes a lot better. So, what you want to do is then, when you get inside it, do Control F. Tends to be the same in most te text editors, and look for truck. Okay, and you'll you'll come near the bottom and it says it, or, or you can just scroll down to the bottom and it'll say vehicle truck 01. So this is the event that fires trucks into your Daisy server. So as you can see, the nominal value is only eight. So there's only ever eight of these trucks at any one time popping up on your server, and they hang around for 300 seconds and then they disappear unless somebody's walking towards them, and then, you know when the event, um, and then that will then trigger one of these uh, trucks to spawn in the normal truck covered the blue one or the orange one so eight isn't very many is it now on Chernerus at the moment as of 20th of November there are 110 possible places for the trucks to spawn in 110 it's quite a lot isn't it and on Livonia there's 50 so you've got to kind of how you know how common do you want to make these so let's say let, let's say we want 60 of them so let's change the nominal to 60 let's change the minimum to 55 and the maximum to 65 don't mess around with the lifetime because what that means is that when items actually spawn in in daisy on the map when the event fires it only actually spawns the truck if somebody's nearby because there's no point if they're not is there <laughs> You know, should, it would put a lot of stress on the server so so leave all that um, and then what you want to do is you want to come down here to the minimum and max and we can say okay so we want a maximum of 60 so why don't we have 20 of the covered ones 20 of the blue ones 20 of the orange ones and just put the minimum up to I don't know 15 15 and 15 Okay, and then you would save that, and then you go back to your. Uh, then you sorry. Then you want to go to uh, go and validate your file over at somewhere like um, XM, uh, XMLvalidation.com. If you get this error, the one that says the string dash dash is not permitted in the comments, that's normally in the config uh, configurable types file. Ignore it because it's it's fine. But you shouldn't get any errors with your events file, and as, as long as it's okay. Go back to the DB file, DB folder, sorry, and upload your version. Restart the server, and those extra M3Ss will start to spawn in. 
Now you say, oh, well, that's cool. So we've got some more M3Ss. But what about, you know, the problem is, is you, they, people have got to go round to the wrecks, haven't they? And they've got to get the wheels and they've got to get a truck battery from an industrial place you know, or someone's shed. How about we have them spawn in with everything on? Wouldn't that be cool? And the answer is, yes, it would be cool. So in the description down below the video, there's a link to this uh, GitHub um, repository. And it's called DAISY 1.10 M3S Covered Variant Code Snippet. And what you do is you click on this bit here, the M3S Covered Variant Code Snippet dot text. And it should pop up like this. And it's a, there's a few instructions at the top. But what you want to do is you want to open up in your um, text editor the uh, CFG spawnable types.xml file. CFG spawnable types.xml file. And then you want to do a control F and you want to find truck again. Ooh. There we go. And you, the, the trucks are fairly near the bottom. And you want to scroll to get to the top of all the trucks. Truck blue. Scroll. Yours one won't be as long as this. Truck covered. There we go. So truck 01 covered. That's the, that's the beginning of it. Now, if we go back to the code snippet, what I've done is I've chained the attachments chance to one for the wheels, the double wheels, the back wheels, the battery, and the headlights, the hoods and the doors with the correct colors. So, so the truck will spawn in with all the bits on it. Also, in the boot of the truck, in the back of the truck, there will be a jerry can full of fuel. Now, with the M3S truck, you only need to get it started a battery and fuel. You don't need any water. There's no radiator. So that's really cool. We don't need any oil because we haven't needed that for ages. So basically this will spawn in ready to go. Now the other thing that it will spawn in with is it will spawn in with four barrels in the boot as well. So you see four barrels and it'll also spawn in with four wooden crates in there as well. So even more storage. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? The only thing that it doesn't spawn in with is because I haven't been able to test whether it works or not, or not is um, logs, planks and uh, corrugated iron sheeting or metal sheeting or metal plate sometimes it's referred to the uh, covered variant of the M3S can also carry an awful lot of that now I have got a version of this file that does have you know 100 planks on it 40 pieces of metal sheeting and I don't know how many logs it is 50 I think it might be but I haven't been able to check that it works I haven't come across it so I'm not including that in this video and in this snippet file I may well do another version of this this uh, this snippet that includes those if we find that it does work but because I can't it's not but I have found or what well one of my uh, server um, members has very kindly found um, the version with the barrels in so it has all these barrels and crates in so that's cool and then we've got two two gas cans of fuel watchtower kit one two three four five six boxes of nails two hammers two shovels some pliers some metal wire two pieces of rope a fence kit some du um, two duct tapes two whetstones combination lock some gloves two hand saws two axes two pickaxes a, med a hatchet, a medium tent, a hunting knife, another whetstone, sledgehammer, um, a flagpole kit, two flags, a black raincoat, two cans of bacon, a 9 volt battery, a tire repair kit, the lug wrench to repair the engine, the pot potty, the potty, the pot epoxy putty to repair doors and things, a large tent, a car tent, tripod to cook so you can cook food, power generator, spotlight cable reel, and a spark plug for the generator. So it's packed full of really good stuff to use. Um, basically, the idea with this is that you can jump in this truck. Well, you can take the fuel out, fuel it up, drive it somewhere, and build a base. <laughs> you know, you've got all the tools and a lot of the resources you need to build a base. So all you would, all you need to do, is, I say, all you need to do is open up your spawnable types, like I've got here. Go to the code snippet and literally just select it all like this. Select everything, like so, down to type. You don't don't select that top bit. No, don't select that. So you've copied that. Then over the top of, of uh, the truck bit in your CFG spawnable types. 
scroll down scroll down scroll down scroll down yours one won't be this one's already got the um editions on it so don't worry about that there we go Ooh, it's right down to the bottom and then you right click paste save that go to xmlvalidation.com validate the um, the file and then when you're happy go back to um the daisy offline folder the one with the cfg spawnable types in and upload your edited version restart the server and then those new m3s's the covered variants with all that stuff will start to spawn in now remember it will take a while for them to start spawning in and also to replace other ones as well um because they've got a despawn and these ones have got a, got, a, got a respawn but there we go i've had a i've spent a, quite a while driving one around on our server today just you know looking for other m3s's um and uh, yeah it's a pretty cool vehicle um it's amazing um carrying capacity um pretty solid going up hills and going off road as well the only catch is if you're playing on playstation 4 or xbox one you still get glitches you still this thing will still glitch out and you'll run into a tree seems to be pretty tough though um i can't speak for playstation 5 or xbox series x or xbox series s because i don't know because i haven't got one um so you know you've still got to be careful you've still got to drive zoomed in in first person mode if you want to avoid that and slow down when you get when you come into towns right there we go m3s covered variant spawn more in spawn incomplete and spawn with loads of building stuff in the boot hopefully that's been useful if it has been hit like subscribe if you want to see more of the same and of course i'll see you again soon